Okay, guys, so we're going to go ahead and wrap up uh, our uh, six video mini series on uh, quadratic functions. And um, no unit will be complete without a word problem. So, yeah, here you go by request. And we're going to do the infamous fence against a wall problem. So, I put in quotation marks because it could be phrased a little bit different, but they're all the same nature, okay? So, uh, it, uh, it's a word problem, so I can't just go straight to the punchline. Let's go ahead and read it. Okay, so it says, uh, a farmer wants to construct three identical rectangular cow pens adjacent to the barn. And uh, clarification, what does uh, adjacent mean? Uh, it says using the side of a barn as one side of the rectangular pens. Okay, uh, he has 240 feet of fencing and wants to use all of it. Oh, I, I like that. We don't want to have leftover material. Okay, cool. And then we have three questions. Uh, question A. Express the area A as a function of X for the combined area of all three pens and indicate its domain. Okay, so that's like a lot for me. I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to sketch what's going on. Okay, so a farmer wants to construct three identical rectangular pens, uh, rectangular cow pens adjacent to the barn. Okay. So we're gonna use uh, one of the uh, one of the walls as the um, as the cow pen. So you wanna do three. So uh, something like this maybe, and then sorry, I had a slice of cow. Yeah, cool. So that's it. Okay. So it's one, two, three. Okay. But these pictures are in my way. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead transpose this. So I'm pretty much gonna do one rectangle cut it so we have three pieces okay so that will be our three pens okay so this top part will be the barn okay so we're not gonna need any of uh, the barn wall okay okay so we're not gonna need any fencing there um that's how we're putting uh, the pens uh, adjacent to the to the wall so we can save money on fence okay and we want uh three of them cool so we want to express the area uh, as a function of x for the combined area of all three pens. So this is a rectangle. So to remind myself to find the area of a rectangle, we're going to take the length and multiply it by the width. Okay. Depending on how you set this up, your work may look a little bit different, but um, it's okay. We're going to get the same answers. So the question is, of uh, how wide should this uh, cow pen be? I don't know. I'm just going to say it should be X. Uh, what are the units? 240 feet. It should be X feet wide. Okay. So if this is X feet, then this uh, divider should also measure X feet. This other divider should be also measure X feet. And at the end, it should also measure X feet. Cool. So we need x feet for the ends each and then x feet for each divider. So we know how wide the cow pen should be. Uh, how long how long is it? I don't know. We have a grand total of 240 feet and we want to use all of it. Okay. So we're going to take that 240 and subtract from it however much we're going to use on the ends and for the divider. So we're going to subtract this end right here. We're going to subtract the divider, subtract the other divider, and then subtract this other end. Okay. So the more of the story, after we use x, 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 x feet for the dividers and at the end, that will leave us with uh, 240 minus 1, 2, 3, 4x. Okay. So that will be the length. Cool. All right. So it says uh, express the area as a function of x. Okay. So part A to find the area of this rectangle, length times width. How long overall is uh, is this cow pen? It's uh, 240 minus 4x feet. Okay. So area equals 240 minus 4x feet, and we're gonna multiply it by the width. Okay. So that will give us x. So that's fantastic. Uh, unfortunately, we are asked to indicate its domain. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So the question is, um, what will be the domain? 
So x is the width of this barn, and um, length or measurement is non-negative, so it has to be greater than zero. So domain, the width has to be greater than zero. There is nothing to simplify, so we know that at the very minimum, x has to be bigger than zero. Can we restrict it more? Let's see. So we know that the length is 240 minus 4x feet. Mm, what is the domain? Okay, so length or measurement is non-negative. So we have to tell the world that this has to be more than zero. Okay, let's go ahead and solve it. So we'll subtract 240 from both sides. And that will give us a negative 240. We take our time to get rid of the times negative 4. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by negative 4. And a gentle reminder, at any point, if you uh, multiply it or divide by a negative, you have to reverse the direction of the inequality symbol. No one speaks like that. So uh, if you multiply or divide by a negative, you got to flip it. So that will give us x is less than 60. Okay. So what do we know? We know that uh, about the domain, we know that x has to be bigger than 0, and at the same time, it has to be less than 60. So we want to tell the reader that x has to be bigger than 0 and less than 60. So that's how we'll write the domain. So I'm going to say where uh, x is greater than 0 and less than 60. So like in English, it's between 0 and 60. Uh, you can put the word domain, yeah. Uh, so that's part, part A, okay? Uh, part B, find the value of x that produces the maximum area. It's really up to you how you want to uh, do this part. You can either answer algebraically or you can answer graphically. I'm going to go ahead and answer graphically, okay? So find the value of x that produces the maximum area. When I'm thinking about maximum anything uh, from a visual perspective, um, I need to have like a, a peak or a hill. This will be my maximum. Okay. So let's go ahead graph this uh, in our in our in our calculator. And again, you can answer algebraically, but we're just going to use our calculator. Okay. So we have a equals uh, 240 uh, minus 4x. Uh, that difference multiplied by x, and then let's go ahead and graph it. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to adjust the, the brightness. Yeah, cool. So let's go ahead and graph. I just went to the standard viewing window, and hopefully I can see like a maximum in there, and I can't, okay? Let's go ahead and take into consideration the domain. The domain has to be from 0 to 60, so let's adjust our window. So we're going to go ahead, click on window, x minimum, we want it to be 0, x maximum, 60, and you can adjust the scale, but I don't like to mess with that. I don't mind having a bunch of tick marks. So we are now looking at the right viewing window. Hopefully we can see like a peak, and that will be our maximum. Hit graph. Oh, where are we? Okay, it finished graphing because uh, it stopped thinking, and yet I don't see like a maximum anything. Okay, so we're gonna have to adjust uh, the value of y, and we can just play with it at random, or you can look at the table of values. Okay, so we'll do second table, and then um, oh, this is not on automatic. Okay, so let's go ahead do uh, adjust our table setting. So we're gonna do second table set, second table set table start where do you want me to start counting so I guess we want to count from zero the change in table what do you want me to count by uh, by one by two by five by ten uh, by one is nice and then uh, independent variable that's our x uh, right now it's set to ask so this is why uh, I didn't have a list of numbers like I thought let's go ahead change that to auto Okay, enter. Okay, now we can go to table. So second table, and we're going to look at the function values. Again, we want to find a maximum something. So I want to know where are the function values going up, but then I'm more concerned when they start dipping. Okay, so we're going to just use um, our down arrow to examine the function values. So right now, I'm like at 896. We're still going up. Again, I'm concerned where it's, go where it's going up. 
but I want to see where it starts to dip. Okay, the function value 11, 14, 16, 18, 2000. Oh, we have ways to go. Okay, it's gonna take me forever. Okay, maybe I should have counted by fives. Did I overlook something? Oh, yeah. Okay, this is what happens when you do videos at four in the morning. Okay, cool. So, yeah, so I, I, I was a little bit nervous. I, I overlooked it. So, we, we have that the function value is increasing. I'm at 3,500, 35, 36, and then I start dipping. Okay, so uh, we start dipping at x equals 30. Uh, we don't know if, if it's really at 30 or if it's 30.1, 30.2, but I want a, a viewing window where the y value I can see up at minimum 3,600. I'm gonna put a little extra buffer, so I'll change the window uh, on the Y to go up to, mm, let's give it an extra 200 to 3,800, okay? So we'll do window. Uh, the Y minimum, you can put zero, uh, it doesn't affect me. The Y maximum, uh, I think we had set 3,600 with whatever buffer you want. Uh, I'll put a 3,800 and then we'll hit graph. And we should be able to see a maximum something. Cool. And when I said buffer, it's just on this space in between the edge of my screen. Okay. So uh, after all of that, what was the question? Uh, find the value of x that produces the maximum area. Okay. So you want to know the value of x. We want the calculator to find the maximum. Uh, so let's go ahead to second calc max. Second calc and then maximum okay so we're gonna put our cursor somewhere to the left enter somewhere to the right enter and then guess uh, I think where the cursor was originally that's the guess yeah it's almost too perfect okay yeah so uh, yeah it's actually yeah maximum of 30 comma that okay so we have a maximum point at 30 comma 3600 okay fantastic so let me just go ahead put x and y and then to answer the question okay question b says find the value of x that produces the maximum area okay so they want to know what is the value of x so x is uh 30 so if we use x equals 30 that will produce the maximum area problem c Find the dimensions and the area of each pen. Okay, we can answer this in, a, in uh, we can do this the fast way or the long way. Okay, uh, I'm gonna show you the, I'm gonna tell you the fast way, and, but I was right uh, the, the longer way. Okay, uh, when x is 30, y equals 3600. Okay, so that, uh, what does y represent? The area. Okay. So if x equals 30, uh, the area is uh, 3,600 uh, square units. What are the units? Uh, feet. Square feet. Okay. So if x equals 30, that's going to give us a, a maximum area of 3,600 square feet for all three. Okay. So I said I wasn't going to write it, but uh, I don't want to just speak. Okay. So for all three... Uh, the area is 1,200 square feet. But we want to know what are the dimensions and the area of each pen. So what is the area of each pen? And we slice it into three pieces and that will give us, you know, 400 square feet a piece. Yeah. Okay. But I should have just went to my straight algebra route. Okay, cool. Problem C. Uh, find the dimensions and area of each pen. Okay. So in this case... Uh, let me go ahead and write down um, our barn. Okay, problem C. So we have, uh, this is our cow pen. This side is the barn. And then we have our dividers. The ends uh, are X. The dividers are also X. And the whole way across, where was it? 240 minus 4X. Okay, so uh, let's see how wide the, the uh, pen should be. So X is 30, so this will give us 30. Overall, for all three pens, how long should it be? Okay, so let's plug in a 30 for X. So we have 240 minus 4 times X, which is 30. 
and that will give us 240 minus 120 and I believe that's 120 okay so the whole way across is 120 feet but we want to know what are the dimensions of each pen okay so that each pen right here okay so uh, let me go ahead speak to myself each pen so this is the barn side okay and the each pen is um, x feet wide so that will give us 30 but it, each pen is not 120 feet long 120 is on um, the whole way across okay so we're gonna take 120 and divide it by 3 and that will give us 40 okay so each pen is on um, 30 feet by 40 feet so the dimension so each pen that says each okay so each pen the dimensions are uh, 30 feet by 40 feet and that will give us the area of um, length times width the length is uh, 40 I, I don't have space for the units the width is 30 and that gives us uh, am I missing something am I missing something yeah I think I told you something wrong earlier but uh Oh, I know, I know why. Okay, let me go ahead and answer this question and then I'm gonna have to, uh, what is it? Redact myself. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, so the area will give us 1,200 square feet. So each pen has, uh, has dimensions 30 feet by 40 feet with the uh, area of 1,200 square feet. Okay, so the reason why I was stuttering is because I realized that I did something wrong. Okay, uh, going back to B, and this is what happens when I go outside the agenda. So B, uh, if we use X equals 30, that's going to produce a maximum area for the combined area. Okay, so the combined area is uh, 3,600. Okay, so this should have been 36. I know you caught that. Oh, this is ugly. Okay. The combined area should have been 3,600. And then when we divide it into three areas, that will give us 1,200. Cool. All right. So I think what I did, I took 3,600 and I divided by three and then I divided by three again. My mistake. Okay. This is why you don't go off, off, uh, off the agenda. Okay, guys, so I think we've answered all the questions. Sorry for the technical difficulty, but uh, I am a person just like you. Thank you, guys.